Both of these teams trying to snap many skids and get back on track today. But if you don't make it a slower game, I think that was well done by Georgia Tech. That three took a minute to get down, but ultimately did. She knows FSU, their confidence isn't as high as it's been recently because of the three-game skid. So they want to punch him early, see if they can hurt that confidence. The speed of Omaria Gordon. I like the nickname, OMG. So good, right? So good. Juan Adonides with a nice feed down low to a cutting gun. Ball back into the hands of Latson in Florida State. Timpson was calling for it. Latson good. took it instead and got an and one. <laughs> Just an incredible mind. Gifted. I think that's the word to speak six languages and then also cross someone up like she just did right there and take it out to Maria oh, Gordon. For perfect time. She knew that we were talking about it. That's great. She heard us. Nice extra touch feed to the corner and Naredo answers right back at the spot. She loves to shoot it. One of three different Spaniards on the Georgia Tech roster with the triple to get the Yellow Jackets back within one, but all in glass at the opposite end there, Viegas. This game has been so back and forth. It feels like when one team does something, the other team thing, and they match each other. And this is what we've seen so far in this second, in the off season, was always in the gym, had a mindset shift. She's one of the best athletes that they've ever seen on in their program, but you can tell She's worked a, a lot on her game. The pickpocket from Dorado. And Bajetti guarding Tony Morgan. As you mentioned earlier, Jason, she generally guards the other team's best player. So watch that matchup. Johnson had time to set her feet, and the result is a made three. Latson lost it. Here's Morgan on the move. In transition, Tony Morgan all the way to the rim. What a finish by Tony Morgan. And notice the patience that she attacked with. She wasn't out of control. She looked for the opening that she could take. Great job by Morgan. Latson kicks three in the corner from Turnage. Um, when she's on the floor in ACC play, Florida State's plus 45 in point differential, which is a big deal for Turnage and what she brings to this team. Three at the opposite end and an answer. Play drawn up on the baseline there. Naredo cashed in on the jumper. Bajetti started to get going earlier. Takes the three and makes the three. You know what I love about Sarah Bajetti? She holds that follow through longer than any player in the ACC, maybe the country. If she makes a three in your face, you're going to know it. Oh, what a block down low there from Timpson. Saw the cut and used a long arm sneaking up from behind early on in this game. She's their second leading scorer on the season. 14 points per game, Gordon. Naredo, nice late feed to the corner. Turned into three there for Dunn. That was one emphasis at the Georgia Tech shoot around. You have to find who you're guarding after a made bucket. Agustinaida rattles down to 30. Guzna Agustinaida had a 30-point game against Florida earlier this season. Again, just a freshman. She was so locked in in that performance. Meanwhile, an and one at the opposite end. Hey, basically, Michaela Timpson's backup. Let's call it what it is, but stepping up when her team needs her. 39-39. Whew. Once again, another broken tie and another lead change. Finish by Tony Morgan. Under the rim, one hand, barely even saw. Post seventh ranked NC State. Those should be two fun matchups. Florida State, she had 20 points in the first meeting. Black, she had 22 in the first meeting. And right now, it feels like, Kelly, it's getting easier as a result for Georgia Tech in the paint. The three, almost at all three levels almost all three levels scoring around the rim and specifically try to make her finish with her left around the rim she's still very good but not excellent like she is with her right Agustinaida has seen so much of her potential in this freshman year that's two quick fouls on FSU in this fourth quarter so keep an eye on that Latson coming right at you it's like a blur in transition you know it's coming but you can't stop it and you know she wants to get to the rim and you can't stop her from getting to the rim. 
This is going to be a fun matchup. Morgan and Bajetti in this fourth quarter. Bajetti with a good defense there. She typically locks down opponents' high scores. Latson cruising and finishing. Florida State back in front. Finish from Tanaya Latson. This is so difficult with the left. Another finish at the rim, and the Florida State bench is up. Is attacks the rim, hits her teammate. We've got, and Tania Latson has just set the Florida State record for 30-point games. That's her 12th 30-point game. She's a sophomore. That's what's so crazy about what Tania Latson is doing. Get back on track, and the Seminoles will head back to the state of Florida to play Miami next. But for now, they can celebrate this one. In Atlanta, 78-67, Florida State comes out on top.